Sports Collegiate Challenge Time, Mid-Atlantic Region, Haywood Community College, our host. I'm Kevin Holtz alongside Dave Jewett. We got a nice group of competitors coming in here. I bet some of our best times of the year are gonna come out of this field. And Dave, I don't know about you, I'm watching Adam Wenzel from Penn State. He is our only competitor to return with us. That makes a big difference, psychologically speaking. Well, there just seems to be something about Caleb Hawkins on a Warren Wilson College. This guy's got confidence, the college manages 620 acres. 15 hours a week, this guy's there with his steel MS660 saw working. The same saws we are using here today. This guy's bringing confidence, brand new gear. My eyes are on that guy. All right, well, we've got a great field of competitors. We're gonna get the action started right now. Day for these college kids, this is probably one of the most underappreciated events out there. They think it's so easy. Two cuts with a stock saw, but uh, you happen to know from personal experience there's a lot that can go wrong. Absolutely. We will see it. It's funny, when you see mistakes happen, it becomes contagious throughout the field. You can jump the gun, you can hit the on-off switch into the choke position, you can cut the line, you can hit the chain break. So many things. Both Caleb Hawkins from Warren Wilson College and Alex Storm from Penn State Mount Alto listed the stock saw as one of their fortes, one of their strong events. I'm very comfortable with the saw. My family owns a logging company. I've been running a saw since I was 14 years old and it's probably one of my strongest events also. Just people overlook it. It's, they don't think that it's the most, it's important, but you get the same amount of points for that as you do every other event. And it's just as important in my mind. Clean entrance from Alexander Storm. But it looks like Caleb has caught up a beautiful wow, transition. What a nice transition on stand number one. Trouble though on stand number two. And that is going to be a disqualification. Beautiful for Caleb around the 14 second mark. Let's look at the replay, Kevin, on Caleb Hawkins' upcut. You can see the power of the saw pushing him back out of the wood. He regained his composure, got the teeth back in. Nerves are not an issue for first year competitor Caleb Hawkins, who posts the fastest stock saw time of the year for a college lumberjack. The only thing that makes me nervous is the gun, because you got to go down and on the gun and get it, but it happens. I'm still nervous. It's first time in front of a bunch of people chopping like that, but uh, I feel like I've practiced up. I feel like I'm ready to go. Next seat of the Stock Saw event, Ben Nicely from Haywood Community College. We've seen some champions come out of there in the past. Up against Montgomery Community College, Jeff Sink. This is his second year competing, his first year with us here. Dave, he's, uh, he's studying, he wants to become a smoke jumper. Boy, and he's so calm, and we talked to him earlier, I, I'd imagine you need to be calm being a smoke jumper. Uh, heat of the lights on him, cameras in his face. We'll see if he can handle the pressure. Ben Nicely. Trying to follow in the footstep of Dan Jones and Jay Blackburn out of Hayward Community College. He's got a beautiful cut, a huge rooster tail of chips. Oh, and he fanned on the changeover. Both these competitors struggling. Yeah, bigger struggles though over on stand number two. The bar of that saw not all the way through the block, pushed him right out of the back of the block, maybe a little too calm, cool, collected, letting the saw shove him around a little bit. Well, Ben nicely had a beautiful entrance into the wood. And coming out the bottom, you can see he had to retake that change. Double clutch, he back in the wood, but by that time you've lost about a second and a half. And that just adds up to ram points. I went in quick on the second cut. On my side it was good, but on this side it wasn't. I don't guess I was standing straight enough. It's, it's a little bit different on stage. I'm not used to it yet. Ben nicely DQs, but Jeffrey Sink from Montgomery Community College manages to make two complete cuts in 21 seconds. Right now, that's good enough for second place. Just a recap, Warren Wilson College, Caleb Hawkins set the fastest time of the year so far. Montgomery Community College, the only other school to post a time. And we've got two guys left, Adam Wenzel from Penn State and uh, John Paul Ewan from Dabney S. Lancaster Community College. My money's on Adam Wenzel. If there's anybody else in this field that can beat that 
13.8, it's Adam Wenzel. And remember, the second place time right now is 21 seconds. The window is wide open for both these competitors. There's no need to be breaking world records now. They need to be thinking about ram points. Clean entrance into the wood, clean changeover. It's very, very simple, but something happens when that gun goes off. It just causes the mind to race and go above your ability. And a fast entrance into the wood, Adam Wenzel. I'm actually gonna give this Give this win here to Adam Wenzel. He's about five and a half seconds at the switch, but a bit of a fan, a little bubble there at the bottom. No, Adam running it beautiful. A chip sent in the next week. Yeah, he looks like he's got officially the second place spot right now in the mid 15s. Adam Wenzel's time of 15 seconds is not enough to knock out Caleb Hawkins, the first ever Steel Timber Sports competitor from Warren Wilson College. Well, you know, it's a bit more culture than we're used to, I suppose. Ahead, the Axes take center stage for the standing block. 